So everybody, hello and welcome back to Wilderness Adventures UK. Today is the 18th of October 2024 and indeed the first day that I'll be heading up to Scotland. Now the initial plans for these videos are is every two to three days I'm going to compile a video and launch it. So it's going to be a whole series of videos. Right at the end when I get back and I'm in the comfort of my house I'm going to compile the best bits. So all the b-roll, everything. So hopefully you're going to stick around and watch all of these and watch my take on the NC500. Not ready to set off yet. In fact, we've got quite a lot to do. So I'm going to be at the barn for a couple of hours. I was just doing a few checks last weekend, as you probably saw in a previous video. And I noticed that the coolant in my vehicle, the antifreeze, was a bit um, watery. So I bought some antifreeze. I'm going to quickly take off my expansion tank, drain that and put some antifreeze in it because I don't know how cold it's going to get up there. It has given snow up there by the end of October. So I want to be prepared for that. Throughout the week, I have been coming back and forth and just dumping stuff in it because I didn't want to forget anything, um, which I will show you a little bit of. I'm not going to show you everything I'm taking. Most of it you've seen in other videos. The nature hike stove. I'm going to be taking my jet boils in there, or my jet boil copy rather, uh, my little Alpi Cool fridge that you saw last week in the, um, the Wild Camp video with Leon. Um, all of that's already in there. I've not changed any of that. Have got my Anchor power bank, not my Blue Etty, so I've got a 100 watt hour power bank in there. I've also got an eco worthy 100 amp hour house battery that runs my fridge and my diesel heater. The only reason I'm taking the power bank is to charge stuff like my lights. They're all battery operated. My cameras have got my laptop with me because I will be editing on the road and obviously lifting footage off memory cards onto a hard drive. But I'll take you around the back and just show you all the stuff I've been bringing throughout the week. Give you a quick talk through what I've got. Let me flick the camera around. So I've opted for my huge sleeping bag because last weekend with Leon I was cold so the blankets have gone into the cruiser. I've got a big fat pillow from home, so I'm going to have to take one of the pillows out of it, just store it in the cruiser for now. Um, this bag is full of personal hygiene, towels, tea towels, um, baby wipes, things like that for baby wipe washes. So you'll notice the roof box is on. All that's in the roof box is stuff I may need. I've got a toolkit up there. There's a few other bits and bobs, uh, tire, tire inflate because I'm not taking a spare tire. So I have got a puncture repair kit and I have got a tire inflating pump up there. One of those you plug into your fag lighter and it's quite good and to be fair. Not the best of the best, not ARB or anything, but because of budget and things that have happened, I've had to opt down and just buy a little bit cheaper. Plan is to sort out the loadout, head to the docks in Preston, my favourite establishment, chunky steak pies, love them. Give it a wash because they've got a jet wash there and it's absolutely filthy. Fill it up with fuel, buy some food shopping for the next three, four days and some dry food like dry pasta and stuff and then hit the road. Tonight I'm not going to be in Scotland. I'm going to be kind of going halfway up. I'm going to travel sort of two, three hours up to the Lake District and I'm staying uh, somewhere in the lakes. I'm not going to give too much away, but hopefully we've got a park up next to a lake. So uh, yeah, that's the plan for tonight, which you will hopefully see a little bit in the next video. So guys, I've just quickly brought you back just to show you a couple of items that I am packing, but they've been supporters of the channel for quite a long time. In fact, one of my first review videos were on this item. The EcoZoom. So the EcoZoom is a rocket stove. You can go into my back catalogue. It's one of my early videos that I did a review on. It's an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I'm going to take it A for temperature outside and B for heating up water, A to do my washing up and B for showering. Uses very little fuel at all. I can find twigs on the side of the road. I can find, I can buy wood. I can buy kindling from supermarkets, etc. So that is going to be one of the main sources of heating water. Now the other supporter of the channel is this little beauty. Do you remember this? This is the Water To Go original classic bottle. Now that was the first bottle I got. They gifted that to me and we did a review on it. We drunk out of an old stagnant duck pond. Again, you can go back in my back catalogue and watch the video. I stand by these filters because I was expecting to get very ill from drinking out of that duck pond and I didn't. 
Now I went water to go launch this bottle. Uh, it's made out of a quite a hard plastic and I was just wishing that they brought one out that was a bit more squidgy because obviously if you're decanting it to make a brew or to boil a ration pack or even just to boil some rice or something very very difficult to squeeze this because it's quite a hard plastic can you hear that quite hard to squish but i still have that to this day that's why i brought that one i'm not taking that one with me they then sent me the water to go active bottle now this answered all my questions. It's squidgy, it's a lot squidgier. I can tap it, it still sounds a little bit hard, but it's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on camera, but it's very, very squidgy. Fantastic bit of kit. That is my go-to and has been my go-to since they sent it me. And I decant all my tap water. I even decant bottle water in this. Um, I've just put a new filter on it. So that is gonna be coming with me. That is my primary, I absolutely love it. After that, about a year ago actually, I did make a video on it. They sent me the same bottle, it's even still in the packet, it's a bit battered and stuff where I've had it rammed on a shelf. But they sent me the same bottle. This is the active bottle, very squidgy again, but it's smaller. This one's 750cl and that one's a 500cl. So it's for those who don't want to carry as much water. If you're going on hikes and you're next to a river or wherever, that one's better. Never used it. Now a couple of days ago, water to go contacted me. They've got a new uh, marketing guy there called Jamie. I assume he's a guy. Jamie could be a girl or a boy. So I do apologise if you watch this video and I've got your... I, I've, I've, I've misgendered you. I do apologise massively. But Jamie reached out to me. He says, um, you know, you love the, the active bottle. Well, we've just relaunched it with a different cap that's more ethically sourced and it's a better design. So they sent me out the new bottle. Now, I'll do a quick... I'm not sure if this camera's gonna gonna pan in, but you can always go to Water to Go's website. I'll leave a link in the description below, and you can go and uh, read up on these bottles. Uh, absolutely brilliant. As I say, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna compare it. Not in a video, but I'm gonna compare it and see how I get on. The good news is, is I've always been an affiliate with Water to Go. I'm not with EcoZoom, but I am with Water to Go. So every time you use my code which I believe is WA15, but I'll put an annotation on the screen. And if you go back to the original video, the actual discount code is still running to this day. But these are fantastic. I see people using life straws and all kinds of filters that are really fiddly. This, you just take, let me get this one, it's old trusty. You just take the lid off, scoop up the water. Don't get any contaminated water on the lid. Scoop up the water in this put your lid back on screw it up obviously make sure your lid doesn't get contaminated flick it open and drink it's so simple to use i don't understand why more people ha don't know about these they're a brilliant bit of kit uh, when you, you do use the affiliate link i just want to touch on this when you do use the affiliate link um, a small donation does come to my channel i think it's about a couple of quid or three quid per bottle uh, last time I looked, they were around 25, 30 quid, and you do get a filter with it. You can buy replacement filters, but the water to go filters come in a little pack like that. And I believe um, they are recyclable and they're good for 200 litres of water. So those two and the EcoZoom are going in the Land Rover. But I just wanted to thank those companies uh, from the bottom of my heart. I don't think Stuart, the lad who runs EcoZoom, is still going. I've tried reaching out to him a couple of times and I've not been able to get in touch. If you are Stuart and you do watch this video, please uh, reach out to me. It'd be nice to touch base with you, uh, just communicate with you. And uh, yeah, when I got hacked, I lost a lot of contacts and Stuart was one of them. Um, luckily with water to go I communicate with them through email. So my email never got hacked. I still communicate with them. But yeah, absolutely fantastic British company. So support British if you can. Um, very sustainable, they, 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 they source all their products from, from natural recycled materials, so, so they're very, very good. I don't want to push this too much, don't want it to sound like, a, like, like an advert, but I'd like to give a little back because they've always been very good with me. They, they, again, I've never bought one of these, they've sent them out to me, I want to be crystal clear, but I still use them to this day three years on. So it goes to show how good they are and I've never got rid of them. Taking these obviously for sourcing water out of rivers, locks puddles even rainwater i can stand it on the roof and it'll fill up overnight if we get any torrential downpours so uh, any even off my awning when my awning pulls the water i could fill this up off the awning capture the water drink it perfectly safe to drink love them so guys apart from 
the bag that's just over my left shoulder, which is obviously full of my clothes. Uh, everything's ready. Flick the camera around quickly. Show you what it looks like. There you go. Water to go's got an absolutely perfect little spot there. That's where it's going to live. And the bed indeed is made. Now, the reason I've gone for this sleeping bag is A, it's the thickest sleeping bag I own. I can unzip it if I get too hot. Uh, obviously save on fuel for the diesel heater, etc. But B, it's waterproof. With it being a carp fishing bag, those boys are always messing about in water, as Leon will uh, confirm. But uh, yeah, if I get in with wet clothes or, you know, I, there's been a downpour and I've been caught in it, I can actually sit on my bed and not wet my bed covers. That's us basically ready. All I've got to do, bang my clothes bag on top of my bed, bang my steps in, bang my little tray in that I put my dirty shoes in. And uh, me, is it a black dog? It is a black dog. My black dog water bowser that hopefully I've got in shot there just over my shoulder. Um, and that's me. Nip home, pick up stickers, go and fuel up, go and wash the old girl because she's absolutely filthy and uh, hit the road. But I'll leave this video here. You will see the first video, which will probably be us leaving here and entering the Lake District and then enter, enter in southern Scotland. So uh, until next week, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a bit of a loadout video and uh, talking about stuff I'm taking and mainly wanted to thank those two companies, both EcoZoom and Water2Go for supporting Wilderness Adventures UK and uh, all our adventures. They're kind of what helped me jump and um, get to where I am now, I suppose. Give me a little bit of faith in humanity, as it were. Anyway, folks, um, I'll stop rambling. I do that an awful lot, as you've noticed. And uh, I'll see you next week in another video.